Now, from the WVLG studios, it's Jack Hammer, D, and Director of Recreation and Parks, John Rohan. Rohan, Rohan, it is time for the Recreation and Parks. Good weekend. We were just talking off air about power washing. I power washed my entire pool deck and house, and I cannot move this morning. Oh, yeah. Let's use muscles you don't think you had you or have. You are not kidding. A good thing is I didn't drop the power washer in the pool. I had a friend of mine do that. He was using his power washer and ended up in the pool. So my wife is very impressed that that did not happen. Because hey. usually I'm breaking something with a power washer with like 600 PSI. I mean, it's just off the chain. Maybe. If you're a dog or a cat, you're done. Maybe we can do power washing for the senior games. <laughs> <laughs> it would be uh, be short lived. <laughs> <laughs> they would take it, they would take it away from us. Absolutely. <laughs> but speaking of senior games, registration is going on uh, right now. It's fantastic. Uh, a lot of people signing up for the over twenty five different sports out there, yeah. and uh, you know we always talk about senior games. It's just a great way to highlight the lifestyle activities and get to see. All the different recreation amenities that are available that we, the residents and the guests, have uh, opportunities to use seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it really kind of brings into focus why people live here, why they moved here, why they celebrate the great life of uh, recreation parks and golf, and just the the tremendous uh, amount of amenities that are out there for people to have access and use to. So, senior games is a great way to get out there and actually go to some different facilities as part of the, you know, sport where you may play at and uh, especially if you try some new activities out there. And uh, it's just a good way to shine the light on why people move to the villages and all the great stuff that goes on here. So, that's taking place. You know, I always open up the Villages Recreation and Parks publication that comes out every Thursday and just peruse through it, you know, as I'm getting ready to get on the show here. The back page is full of four speaker series that are going on in the month of March uh, that are available that you can... They're about a one hour, hour and a half session on an expert, to- an expert speaker will come on and uh, talk about a specific topic. Very cool stuff out there yeah. that people come and share about uh, different s- subject matters. Camp Villages Easter week is going to be here before you know it and registration. You know, we always, it's, it's a great thing and it's an opportunity sometimes. Uh, we get such a positive turnout for some of our socials and, and uh, different events, Camp Villages. We have a... Uh, trying to expand those opportunities if and when those programs fill up. So bear with us. You know, there's a lot of resources and volunteers coordination to try to add more, but we definitely take a look at numbers and which ones are popular and try to, you know, segue some more Mm -hmm. registration opportunities in there. And then outdoor movie does Thursday, March 7th uh, at Saddlebrook Softball Complex. You get there about six o'clock. Uh, the the movie is Black Panther. Yeah. So, oh, the Marvel. A good one. The Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. So, come on out, big movie screen. You can bring your golf cart, or you can bring a blanket and just chill out there and uh, enjoy a great movie. It, it is free, no cost to do that. Now, Go I, I I got a question about that. Is there concessions available, or do you bring your own? You can bring your own. Okay. Yep, bring your own, and uh, we're still trying to get the concession stand open and operating, but yeah, we'll see if we can swing that uh, for the March 7th moving. Get now, that does that up. work like a drive-in? Do you, like, yeah. you line up the cars and everything, you, you, you can... Can you get a frequency on your radio and sit in your car and watch, or is it outdoor? Good question. Uh, it, we have high-definition uh, sound system and uh, audio video that will be uh, showed on there, but not off the golf cart yet. That's We probably can take a look at that. That's a really good idea. Like mm-hmm. the old days, you can get yeah, it on your you frequency. Yeah, tune a radio frequency. Tune it in, yes. Um, so we, we right now, we just have the big Bose system out there that will have the sound out there. But, yes, it is like a true drive-in. You can bring your golf cart. We line you up, get you all set up. Uh, if people can be out there, and like I said, on their blanket and chairs, if you want to bring your chairs out there, you want nice. to sit in your golf cart. Very social, very fun event. Uh, great way to just try something different out there. And, you know, we try to use our facilities uh, where we can uh, for multi-use purpose. So here's Saddlebrook Softball Complex, usually used for lots of different softball leagues and programs. We turn it into an outdoor uh, movie theater venue. So it's really cool. Come on out there. Uh, bring your guests. 
and come on and have their ID card with them, and we'll get you out there and have a good time. So. Uh, we're getting ready to open some more rec centers. We'll talk about that probably next week on okay. some cool stuff getting ready to open up. And um, just everything we always talk about is going to be in the Village's Daily Sun. We're going to hit it on the radio here. It'll be mm-hmm. on the districtgov.org website. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And uh, as John mentioned, um, Easter with Camp Villages. So you have family coming into town. Start booking your guest passes yeah. now yeah. because... You're going to need those. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to use the facilities and stuff like that, guests need to have that pass. That's right. And and if uh, they need a photo ID with that guest passes, too. So, um, yeah, we actually issue guest passes from one year and age and up. So the, the ID card is basically if you have a driver's license and 16 and above, you need to have your photo ID to accompany the guest pass. But once again, shout out to the residents. They embrace the stewardship and the ID checking and bringing their resident ID cards mm-hmm. and their guest ID. So it is a collaborative effort mm-hmm. to make everything come together. So we're very grateful for the, the support and uh, understanding that these are your amenities. Make sure you have your ID cards with you. And your right ages, too, using the facilities as well, yes. too. Supervision is uh, important because it's about safety. When people have a great time, uh, enjoy all that's out there to enjoy. And um, Get, get to and from where they need to go. There you go. Everything you want to know about recreation and parks, the one website, districtgov.org. Go there. It's all there. And also, like John said, the uh, weekly publication is in your Thursday edition of the Daily Sun. That's right. Man, I'm getting good at this. You are yeah. awesome. And D, you're awesome. I was just going to say. You got the whole rest of the day to <laughs> rock and roll, girl. You can do it. <laughs> Executive Director of Recreation and Parks, John Rohan. John, thanks so much, brother. We appreciate you coming in.